All right, how you doing? So we're going to cook some celery ac today. Uh, a lot of people have asked me about this. I don't cook it that often. It's actually really nice. We're going to make it into a smooth, beautiful paste. We're going to boil it, put some cream in it, butter, pepper, things like that. It's really delicious. Welcome back to How to Cook Wing. Okay, so celery ac. So quite a big vegetable. You can see it in my hand there. It's like a swede or like a small cabbage inside. Hard. You can kind of treat it like a potato, really. It's really famous for soup, really. A lot of people make soup with it. What we're going to do today is we're going to boil it and mash it with a few bits and pieces. But yeah, if you treated it like a bit of a potato, I mean, you can roast it, you can fry it. You can do what you want with it, really. But right, we're going to peel it, get all this outer off, cut it into cubes, boil it in some salt water. So just as if you were going to be making some mashed potato, I've got quite a lot of water in there, cold water. I've cut it up into, you know, chunks like that. And then we're just going to boil it. I've added a bit of salt there. We're just going to boil this away, probably for about, once it reaches boiling point, about 10 minutes or so. Okay, it's just like four or five minutes. Off goes the heat. It's nice and soft. Now, it's, in, it's not like potato. In uh, It's a little bit more kind of fibrous than potato. So what we're going to do, we're going to drain this off, and then we're going to mash it. But I'm actually going to use a machine to do it. If you do it by hand, it will just take ages, and it doesn't quite smooth out. Okay, so I'm in the machine here. I've got a tablespoon of butter, which I'm gonna drop in. I've got some black pepper here. We don't need to add salt because we added it when we cooked, but be quite generous with the pepper. And then here I've got some cream. You can use milk or cream. I've got a double cream, and I'm gonna put in about 100 ml. And there you have it, really, really beautiful. Now look, it's very, very thin. But, I mean, you can't pour it, but you can nearly pour it. Do you know what I mean? It's it's really like a bit of an, like an ice cream or something. It's really, really delicious. If you wanted to go an extra step, you could fry some small cut bacon, get that nice and crispy and fold that in as well. That would be really good. It's kind of got a bit of a parsnip taste to it. But anyway, that is one way of cooking celeriac. Hope you enjoy that. Keep safe. Keep well. I'll see you soon. Lots of love. Thank you so much for stopping by and making it to the end of the videos. If you would like to donate to me, there's a thanks button in most countries. You can give me $2 or up to $50. I need to buy a new Ferrari. Come on, help me out.